Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection. I did pick up quite a few things from the collection to show you guys, as well as whether or not I think that they're actually worth your money. If you guys are new here though, hello, my name is Jenna Fraze. Thank you so much for joining me today. My channel is all about high-end and luxury beauty, and I do a lot of honest reviews on this channel. So if you're like me and you're wanting some no BS honest reviews, then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss a new New video that I put out and without further ado let's get on to this review. First of all before we get started all of this Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection is available right now at Ulta as well as Too Faced.com. It is an Ulta exclusive collection so that means that it's not actually ever going to come to Sephora so just keep that in mind. It will however be in stores in Ulta as well on August 26th. The first product I want to talk about is actually the foundation in this collection. This is the Too Faced Do You Foundation and it is a full coverage dewy finish product. It does retail for 36 American dollars and as you can see the packaging is so cute. I love the fact that it's a tube style packaging so you can absolutely cut it open and get every last scrape of product if you want. It's a gorgeous pink packaging and of course it has the watermelon on it because it smells like watermelon and cucumber. When I applied it to my hand first I pumped it out and the smell is pretty significant. It's pretty fragrant so if you are sensitive to scent just keep that in mind. Mind, but it's not super bad like it's a kind of a mix of the synthetic and natural kind of scent now let's talk about the shade range of this guy there are 20 shades in this collection which is awesome so I do appreciate that you do see a number of deep shades some medium and some light as well so that's really awesome but as I was looking at the number of shades that there were they could definitely add some on the fair side of the category as well as the deep side so one to two shades for sure at the minimum on the deep side and definitely some on the fair side if you're super fair, you're not gonna have an easy time finding a match in this collection because they really do darken even up to one to two shades and it is pretty instant. So if you're very fair to begin with, that's gonna be really difficult. For reference, my skin type is normal to oily and I also am an NC20 in MAC and I picked up porcelain because I knew how much it oxidized and it's actually oxidizing pretty well. Like the shade match now is excellent, but based on the description on the website, this one would be considered very very fair neutral when I would never pick up in real life a shade that's called very fair. I mean, I normally sit between light to light medium, so that is definitely something to watch out for. This shade as well pulls really peach already, so I wouldn't even call this a true neutral either. Now with all of that aside, let's talk about how it applied. It applied amazing, you guys. It's definitely medium to full coverage right off the top. You can absolutely build it up to a true full. On one coat with a beauty blender, I did find that, you know, just a little bit of my redness was showing in the cheek region but other than that it covered pretty well everything with one coat so that's amazing I did apply one side with a beauty blender and one side with a brush and I didn't notice a distinct difference between how it applied with either method so if you like one way or another you'll be pleased with either one the only thing with a brush is that it does pick up more of the product whereas a beauty blender will shear it out a little bit more so you do have to build it up a bit more with the beauty blender whereas a brush will actually have more of the coverage right off the bat so you won't have to build it up as much now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette because this one is super fun. The outer packaging of this is actually really, really nice. For some reason, I thought it was going to look a little bit cheaper in real life, but it's actually very weighted. The palette that I did pick up is the Razzle Dazzle palette. There is another one. It is Sparkling Pineapple, I believe. And that one is more of a neutral palette with a kick of green in it. But this one is one that I typically wear on a day to day. So these shades all apply beautifully. The fallout is minimal. Like this is just something I am really 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 pleased with. The mattes in here are super pigmented and I really do like that. They're creamy, they're buttery, they blend really beautifully as well. I did prime my eye as I normally would so I didn't veer away from my normal routine. I used my Smashbox 24 hour eye primer and that's the one I typically use so I knew that if anything was going to waver it was going to be the product and not the primer. It does smell like berries so I wouldn't say it's like super pungent like in your face but it's obvious like 
when you open it up, it's obvious enough. So again, if you're sensitive to scent, this whole collection has a scent of some kind. So just keep that in mind. For the look I have today, I did use every single shade in here. I wanted to make sure I tested out every single one for you guys. So this is the shade that I applied in the center of the lid here, super creamy. Fallout was definitely noticeable and it was noticeable right kind of in the tear duct of my eye area. So it did fall a little bit, even when applied with a finger. The other shade that I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in is actually this deep bluey purple here with some of the shimmer. Shimmer is definitely a little bit noticeable, but it's not too chunky. It's really, really nice, very easy to blend. I did add a little bit to the edge of my eye today using that color, and I really do enjoy it. This eyeshadow palette is definitely worth it in my opinion, and it does run for 34 American dollars. The next thing I picked up is the bronzer, and this is the bronzer and highlight duo from the collection. There is only one bronzer shade in this collection, which is kind of interesting. I think they maybe could have done maybe a bit of a lighter bronzer and a deeper one, just to kind of stretch the inclusivity a little bit more. First of all, this retails for 30 American dollars. It smells exactly like my Marc Jacob Tantastic bronzer. This is a little bit of a lighter scent, like it's not as strong as the Too Faced one, but these smell identical. As I was applying this to the skin, I did notice that the bronzer is really pigmented. It can blend out really nice as well. I wouldn't say it's the easiest bronzer I've ever used to blend out, but it's still fairly blendable. So I think that that's amazing. And the only thing that I can say about it is that it kind of pulls a little bit orange. So it's not like the most natural looking bronzer. It's a touch of an orange. It's not like super noticeable on the skin, but I did notice it just a little bit. As you guys can see as well, they're kind of textured in the pan, which is a little bit weird to me, but it doesn't affect how they're applied to the skin. It's just a little bit strange. But anyway, this is a really nice golden highlight. I do enjoy it. I do think that you can build it up or down so you can keep it very subtle or you can keep it quite intense if you would like. The only thing is that it does emphasize texture. At least that's my experience when Next, let's talk about the blushes in this collection. I did pick up one. There are four shades total, but the one I picked up is in Strawberry. It does smell like strawberry, very synthetic though. This is not natural strawberry smelling. It's just like strawberry lip smackers. That's what it reminds me of. It just brought me back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this blush is a little bit interesting guys because this shade on the side here is fairly light and glittery. I don't know if it's meant to be a blush topper or if it's meant to be a shade on its own. Personally, I wouldn't wear it as a shade on its own because it's just too shimmery with not enough of the blush pigment underneath. So that one I'm kind of like, like I could do without. It's not like the biggest deal in the world. This is a nice blush though. I do think you can pick up quite a bit on your brush right away. So just keep that in mind. It does blend okay as well. It's not like the most blendable blush ever, but it's still pretty good. And the pigmentation is definitely there. So I do like that one as well for sure. But last but not least, let's talk about the lip products because those are super cool. There are 12 shades in the Juicy Fruits lip gloss line. And this is what the packaging looks like. It is super fun. I do think as well that this is very weighty. It's definitely plastic, but it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic. So that's what I really like. They do have metallic finishes though. And a lot of the shades that I was looking at, I was like, wow, like these are not shades I'm going to typically wear. Anyways, so I was a little bit hesitant to get this anyways, because I wanted to see how metallic it would be. I am wearing it right now on my lips and you can tell there's a bit of a metallic finish, but it blends in nicely. And it looks a little bit more of a natural metallic versus like a really intense metallic. These lip shades do retail for 20 American dollars as well. So they're kind of priced, you know, in the high end category. When I applied this to my lips, I really did enjoy it. It's more of a thicker formula and very, very pigmented and it's not sticky at all either. It's a very comfortable wear. I don't think it's going to last all day long. I think it's probably going to transfer, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. Now that all my initial thoughts are out of the way, I will check back in and let you guys know what I think about everything at the end of the day. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I am back. It has been eight hours and I'm here with a check-in just to let you guys know my final thoughts on everything. First of all, the eyeshadow has done a great job of sticking around. As you can see, there is a crease happening right on the crease of my eyes, you know, just barely, but it's not too bad. I did take a look at the Razzle Dazzle palette here, which is in the Tutti Fruity collection, and I compared it to the 20th anniversary palette, which is right here. And what I did find is that there really aren't any shades that are exactly the same 
day in between the two. So they're absolutely worth getting if you have the anniversary palette already. You can still get the Razzle Dazzle. The Shady Bitch one right here is kind of a deeper purple than the purple in this one. As you can see, the purple way on the end on the right side is still lighter than the purple in the 20th anniversary palette, the Shady Bitch shade. There's some themes of like lighter pinks and purples, but they're not exactly the same. And the types of shadows as well are not the same either. The foundation as well, like, wow, I am so impressed. As you can see now, it's a little bit textured at the big pores right in here. I didn't use a primer this time, so just keep that in mind. That is something that I will try next time and see how it does for that. It is creasing just a little bit in the forehead by now, but actually not bad considering. So it's doing a great job that way. And we are breaking apart in the chin ever so slightly. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but just a little bit. So honestly, my nose has done a really good job. You know, right in here at the front of my nose here, it's been wiped off because I blew my nose, so that's not a problem. But yeah, so far, so good with the foundation. I am super impressed with it. The blush and the bronzer and the highlight, they have all done a good job of staying as well. As you guys can see, they're still there. Now, for the blush and the bronzer, I do think that the blush is something Thing that I say for sure you can skip on. It's not my favorite, honestly, like it's okay, but I do think that for the price of 30 American dollars and the fact that you have a really, really glittery, like almost chunky glitter kind of shade in that blush, then I would personally skip on it because that's not really my thing. But if you want a shimmery glittery blush, then I do think that you'll be happy with it because it is pigmented and it does last a long time. So it just depends on what your preference is. But for me personally, that's just not the look I'm going for. As for the bronzer, this one is really hard because the orange does pull a little bit it is pretty noticeable but it's kind of like a goldeny orange like it's kind of hard to explain either way it doesn't look too bad on the skin like kind of on camera it actually blends in really nicely but in real life you can absolutely see the orange tone in it and the highlight is good but I mean I have stuff just like it in my collection already I think so it's not like it's something super special that I don't have already so I think for the bronzer that one is totally up to you I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep it or not it's just okay like I'm not totally blown away by it as you can see the lip product is completely gone. I did eat a little bit and drank as well. So the lip product to me, I think is very enjoyable. It's very pigmented. It's not going to be transfer proof, but it is a gloss. So you can't really expect the transfer proof to really be there. But personally, I think that they are very comfortable to wear and the pigmentation is great. So I think too, the metallicness of it is really, really nice as well. It's not like super metallic in your face. It's got like a nice gleam to it. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection items that I was able to pick up. Let me know down below if any of this interests you at all. If you're thinking about purchasing anything yourself, I'm super curious to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I would love to see you guys back here. And until my next video, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great But sorry, there's a light inside of us It shows the way